That's lighting up the goat pen pretty good. Let's shut it off. Good morning, modern steaders. What you think of sleeping your first night in a red barn? Did you like it? Does it feel more festive? You're coming over to keep an eye on us, huh? Good morning, mister. Ready for some feed? I gave Willow her herbs for helping her milk production come up again. They actually smell really well. So the other day we premiered our first video on YouTube and there was a lot of confusion about that. So what a premiere is, is YouTube will let me premiere a video, it's just one of my normal videos, if I hit premiere, it'll send out notifications to everybody saying, hey, Lumna Acres is premiering this video and it has like its own YouTube page for it that you can go and leave comments on. It'll have a countdown on there saying this video is live in 13 hours. And what the premiere is, is the first time while it's viewing, so if it's a 15 minute video, for the first 15 minutes of that video playing, we'll have a live chat going on. And then after that, it's a normal video. So there's nothing different about it other than we get to have live chats, which was awesome. I had a really good time the other morning with everybody. I understand 6 a.m. Eastern time, I know, isn't the best time for everybody. It's the first time trying it, so we just did it on a normal upload schedule. We can definitely figure out what's going to work best for everybody. I think it'd be fun to do one weekly, so leave it in the comments down below and let me know what you think. You goats look so picturesque up there in your spools. Oh, that watching Figaro. Good morning, sausage. Since you didn't finish all your cucumbers, I guess you got enough food. You go over there, I'm gonna go over here and feed you. Is there anything good over there, Pluto? Where's Andy hiding? Where's Moose? Morning Moose. That's what Gina and Olivia made the other day. That came out pretty cool. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna install some solar outdoor lighting for the goat barn inside and then one for the outside goat run area. I got two different style LED solar lighting 
off of Amazon. There'll be a link in the description down below. I didn't want to get both of the same because I wanted to see if one was better than the other and what, and what you got for different price ranges. Um, this one right here, I believe it was $43.99. I will say the first one I got in the mail didn't work. And that's why this video took a little longer to make. So even though we paid more money for it, the first one was a dud. This one comes with a remote. This is 5 watts, 10 volts, and they are supposedly both the lights will run for 12 hours on a 12 hour charge. This one right here is smaller. This was $30 on Amazon. Just has an on off switch. And then you got your solar panel. It's a lot smaller. This casing is all plastic. This one's aluminum with a nice aluminum arm for mounting. This one has a plastic arm for mounting. So don't know if this one's gonna hold up as long. This one is three watts, six volts. So let's get these installed and then we'll test them out. All right, so our first one we're gonna install is the smaller three watt panel. that back this is plastic housing so I'm using a flat bottom pan head screw because if I used a regular let's see I got one here exterior screw it's got a tapered end and when you screw that in flush it would crack that right there I've done that plenty of times before I did lock the goats out. I figured if I didn't, they'd be climbing the ladder on us guys. I believe this is 16 feet worth of cable. You know you want to. Aha, gotcha. Look at that, the sun's hitting it perfectly. That's an awesome location for it. Reach inside. We have plenty of wire to change locations. Just gotta find out what's gonna work best. So now that it's plugged in to the solar charger, it won't turn on. If I unplug it, it will. So it's got a sensor in the solar charger. When it's daylight, that light won't come on. So if you want to leave it on all the time, you can. You goats ready to come back in? Same thing with this light. If we turn it on right now, it'll come on. As soon as we plug it into that solar panel, it'll shut off. So we're gonna mount this one on the tree, pointing over to the goat pen. So at night, we can have light out there. Kinda thinking that one of these might be nice on New York City come winter time. 
there are weather tight connections that light should have went out and it did yeah that looks natural you see that out in the wild i like it you excited to go out there pluto you want to go ouch Up. I did. You notice the panels? Mm -hmm. Is there a camera underneath the one on the barn? They're not cameras. I mean they're the lights. Light. Yes. There's well. There's the light there, and then in the barn, the one flat panel is inside the barn. Oh, okay. Thought that was Pluto running. It's just a pig Can or two. Pig? She was sunbathing and enjoying it. I think it'd be funny if Moose was up standing on the nesting boxes by his sign. You don't think so? Oh man, he should be. You think they're growing big? Yeah. Yeah. Are they cute? Yeah, but they're growing up too fast. Oh man. He is. He should be standing right there. Right next to the sign you and Mum made him. The different color varieties from two breeds of chickens. Got a, uh, we got a light blue and a green. I don't know if that's showing up on camera or not. And some different color brown ones. Thirteen. She's disciplining her puppy dog. She went over on the other side of the property line. She thinks Pluto should know better. What's that? You having fun? Got some leftover potatoes, onions, and Brussels sprouts we're gonna fry up for dinner. Let's see if we can do this one-handed. And then after dinner, once it gets dark, we can see how good the new outdoor goat lighting works. What are you chasing, Figaro? You got a little field mouse? Alright, let's see how these lights work. We're at the house. We got the remote. I don't know if we can see from here if the remote works or not. I don't think we're going to be able to see from here. Oh! Did you see that? We turned it down to 30%, 100%, 60%. 100 off. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I got a remote for my goat barn and I can use it at the house. That's lighting up the goat pen pretty good. Let's shut it off. It's pretty dark. Look at the goat barn. I like it. I could probably angle that a little bit higher. We don't need light out here as much. What do you girls think, huh? You like all the light? And look at the goat barn. It looks pretty. I know you want your night snack. Uh, 
So that light lights up the goat farm pretty good. The milk in room gets lit up, but nah. Might have to rethink where we keep that light. But the reason I like it here, this one's on a switch under here. And that way if I gotta go out back, I can turn that light on first. Works pretty good. Good night, girls. Look at that, Andy's right in the middle. What is Moose doing? I can't believe he's letting you take over. It's lit up pretty good over here. It's gonna be links in the description down below for the Amazon affiliate links for the two lights. This is gonna be a big game changer for doing our nightly chores, especially once the daytime savings changes and we gotta change the clocks and with the winter and snow, I'm looking forward to it. So thanks guys for watching and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.